Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're talking about independent and dependent probability. The way we look at probability overall is we take the favorable outcomes, our preferred or whatever outcome we're wanting or asking for, over or divided by the total number of possible outcomes. We're going to look at one example of independent probability and one example of dependent probability. And we'll kind of talk about the differences there when we get into them. So for independent probability, this says a bag has four red and three blue marbles. You draw a red marble and then you put it back into the bag. You reach again into the bag. What is the probability of you pulling out a red marble again? Well, the key fact here is that we, we drew out a red marble, but then we put it back. So when you put the marble back, you have your total number of outcomes as you could pull out four. There are four opportunities for red and there are four opportunities for um, three opportunities for blue. So we would say, okay, well, four plus three is seven, right? So seven is our total number of possible outcomes. Our favorable outcomes, well, we're wanting to pull out a red one, right? What is the probability of you pulling out a red marble again? Well, how many red marbles total are in the bag? There are four. So some of your teachers prefer you to write this as four over seven. And some of them may prefer you to take a step further and do an actual percentage. So you would do 4 divided by 7, and you get this long decimal. Remember to do a percent. I just take that decimal place. I move it to the right 2. So, and then, you know, you round reasonably. So this would be 57.1% rounded. So you might say 4 over 7, or you might say 57.1% percent that's the probability the key feature here that made this independent probability is that we took out a marble but we put it back so we had the same amount of marbles to start with as we did once we had actually pulled a marble and then put it back now let's look at dependent probability so this one says a bag so we're talking about a different bag now it has seven green and six blue marbles you draw out a blue marble and you set it aside. You reach back into the bag. What is the probability of you pulling out a blue marble again? So the key feature here that makes this dependent probability is that we've pulled out a blue marble and we're setting it aside. We did not return it to the bag. So here we started with seven green and six blue. So a total of um, 13 marbles, right, to start with but we took one out and we set it aside. So now we only have 12 marbles, okay? There were 13, now there are only 12 for this second drawing. And then when we reach back into the bag again the second time, what is the probability of us pulling out a blue? Well, the blue is six. There are six marbles originally, but we've already taken one out. So how many are there now? Well, now there's only five marbles. So there's five favorable opportunities out of a total number of marbles of 12. Okay, so some of your teachers would be totally fine with you leaving this as a fraction. Some may ask for a percentage. So let's figure out what would five over 12 be as a percent. We get this long decimal. Remember, we take the decimal point, we move it over to to get our percentage. Um, so we'd call that 41 point, we'll round that to 7%, 41.7. Now this is just a really basic intro to probability to help get you thinking about the difference between independent and dependent probability. Obviously it can get way more complicated than this and we'll look at other examples later. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.